You've heard about birth plans, but I'm here to talk about birth strategy. I'm Rosie Pope and I'll explain what you need to consider for a more relaxing delivery. When creating your birth plan, it's best to keep it as simple as possible. Keep your plan to one or two pages and use bullet points to communicate your wishes clearly. Make sure you talk through your wishes with your partner and then your healthcare professional. It's important that everybody agrees and is on the same page. For example, I've seen a lot of birth plans when people want to have candles at their delivery. Many hospitals are not okay with open flames and they need to think of a different solution. So make sure to communicate everything before you go into labor. One of the potential traps with the birth plan is that if things don't go according to plan, which they inevitably won't in a delivery, people feel disappointed. And I never want a new mom and a new dad to ever feel disappointed when they're holding a healthy baby in their arms. Finally, have a plan set in advance for spreading the news to your family and friends. And in my opinion, this is a great job to delegate to your partner. Whether it's a phone chain or a group text message or even Facebook, make sure to get the message out. And of course, everyone's going to be dying for a picture. So remember to follow up with a great photo later.